Hello folks, how are you today? Today we're going to do pineapple and the, the uh, challenge prompt to go with pineapple is make a mandala and you can obviously see how you, it would be easy to make a mandala using this pattern. So the pattern starts with a curve and obviously when we're going to make a mandala we're going to make a circle but here it starts with a curved edge and then we put straight lines up like an eyelash and then at the top of those straight lines we're going to make lumpy bumps make little crescents little curves and then we're just going to pile on in between so from the top of this one to the top of this one, a little curve, top of there to top of there, a little curve, and so forth. And we are just going to keep growing it. See how it kind of comes into like a point. <clears throat> so we're going to start with a mandala by making a circle around. And then we're going to make some of these eyelashes. And then I'm going to make a gap. And then I'm going to make more eyelashes and then a little gap and so forth so that I have these little pineapple-y shapes coming out from my mandala shape. I'm just going to do a small one I think today because it's fairly simple and straightforward. I don't think we're going to need a lot of thought about it. Zoom in just a little make that bigger because this is a small square. This is only like a two and a half by two and a half or something like that. I don't know what I did with my I just had it. My ruler has disappeared. How did it disappear? I mean, I really, I literally just had it on the last video. Oh, there it is. Yeah, not quite three inches. So, I'm going to start with making a circle in the middle, approximately. I'm going to use my pencil to do that. And then I need to decide how many pineapple-y bits. That's not, a, not, that's not in the center. Not in the center. Let's try again. Where is the center? Maybe if I find the center because usually that's where you start when you do a mandala. You find the center by just making a cross and finding the midpoint. There we go. And then in there I'm going to put a circle. doesn't need to be a very big circle. You know what? I'm going to use my helix circle maker and I'm going to make a little circle. If I put those points on the cross it makes it right in the middle. Perfect. All right, that works. And then do I want a pineapple shape? I'm just kind of eyeballing. Do I want that pineapple shape, just four of them? I think so. I think that would work well. Okay, so I'm going to make a gap here, 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 and here. Just going to mark those where I want my gap. And then I'm going to make get started here. I'm going to use a fine because this is a small one. I think I'm going to use a fine tip pen, my my finest tip that I have, which is a, a point zero .05, which is, in theory, half the size of a point, oh, point one, an oh one. It's way smaller than a regular point oh five. This is a point zero five. Don't get them confused. There's the difference in tip size. Don't get them confused. This one's fat. This one's very skinny. So, if 
from here I'm going to use this as my first straight line And this is my last one, and that's my last one for my eyelashes. Like that. So one of these, and one of these. A couple in between. And a couple in between. I didn't draw my circle. I need to do that. Okay, so then my little eyelash thing is going to go about like that. And a couple in between, and a couple in between. So I've got four of these that I'm making and I'm just going to keep track of where I've left this pencil mark. This to this is one thing. I'm not going to connect this one to this one. So those are my, my spots that I need to keep track of at least at the, at this juncture. Those are the four spots I need to keep track of. Okay, so then we're going to do our lumpy bumps. Bumpy bumps. Oh, that made him kind of small because I don't have very many of these because my circle's too small to start with, but that's okay. Because you know what? I can always do another layer. Right? And then from the middles, it's just little arches from the middle of one to the middle of the next, and it will get smaller as we go because we're running fewer and fewer rows. So first there were six, and then there's five, and then there's four, and three, and two, and one. Just like that. Okay, now I think I want it to grow more, so 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I didn't do this right. I should have started with this shape this way and then did the next one row the other way. Hmm. I don't want to get it too big. So maybe I'll do, start here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's, let's think about that. One, two, three, four, five. One, that's kind of long. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to do four, three, two, and one. That'll work. Four. Three, two, and one. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm going to color that center black. Erase all of my guidelines. Although I guess I really don't need to erase the ones in the middle if I'm going to color it black, but did it anyway. Uh, let's just use my brush pen. Just fill that in in the middle. Fresh pen doesn't have a very good tip on it anymore. It's kind of hard to to get in those fine line spaces, but I'm determined to do it. There we go. And now we can shade. And shading is going to be with a very pointy. 2B pencil or just B. I don't want it to be very graphite-y. I don't want it to be dark. So I'm just going to use a B. But I need it really pointy because it's small. I'm going to start with around the edges like this. And then, for sure, behind all of these, and behind all of that, because that's a layer. So, and like so. Like that. 
that. And then I'm going to just put a little bit right here. I don't want to go across the whole thing because I think that'll be too much, but I think right in the little valleys will be just enough because when I smudge it, it'll come out a little more. And that'll be just enough to show the overlap of this sort of, it says pineapple, but it's more, to me, it's more of a pine cone shape. And if you made these, instead of being uh, arches, you could make them more pointy. That would be fun too. already looking good and I haven't smudged it yet. Oh, you're off screen. How far off screen were you? I think you could see my fingers. I think you could see what I was doing. I hope you could see what I was doing. Okay, I want my tiniest blending stump, which is in this bag. Where did that little thin one go? I used it the other day. Did I not put it away? Ay, ay, ay. I'm not good when I don't put things away. Yes, there it is. I found it. Okay. You can fast forward through this part. It's just going to be a repetitious of me just smudging. But you can see the difference between that one and that one. How the smudge really does make a difference between that one and that one. Look at the difference. So you really want to use the blending. That just makes it from, from ordinary to extraordinary. It really does. And it doesn't take much. It's just a little snitch of, of, of graphite. It really is. It's very little. I like it. And now it needs a highlight, which I think I will do with the colored pencil. I was thinking about the pen, but I think the pen would be too harsh of a highlight. It would be just too glaring. I think the pencil is more what I want. 
make sure it's got a little point. And just, just highlight the tops of some of these. Isn't that pretty? I love what highlighting does when you're working on colored paper. I'm really just enjoying the colored paper so much more than I do uh, regular white paper. That I'm not sure how when this pack of paper is gone, if I I don't think I'll go back to regular white paper. I think I'll continue to go back and purchase another bulk pack of colored paper because I'm just really enjoying how this paper works. Or maybe I'll get a pack of that tan tone paper, just the grays and the browns. I don't know, but I really, really like using the highlighter. It's just something about it really tickles my fancy. There we go. We're done. Let me just sign it. Where's my pen? This was pineapple. Make mandala. There's a pineapple mandala. Well, that came out good. I'm happy with that. All right, you guys have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Go out and do something nice for someone today, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.